Hey guys, I paid $4,000 for this statue and I don't even know what it looks like. Hey guys, welcome to the Extreme Channel. My name is Mr. X and we are all about extreme collectibles and nothing is more extreme than opening a statue that I paid over $4,000 for and I don't even know what it looks like. Before I explain that, check out this statue giveaway we're doing. We are going to hit 20,000 subscribers in 2020. To do that, we're giving away a statue every 2,500 subs. At 15,000 subs, the winner will get to choose between these two PCS Mortal Kombat statues. Make sure that you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, and you've hit that bell notification. Then stay tuned towards the end of this video to find out how to enter. So the story's kind of crazy about this piece. First of all, this is a custom piece, which means it's a private, unlicensed commission. And for whatever reason, the producer of this piece, maybe it was ego, maybe it was a personal challenge, he threw out to his private customers, he said, hey, I'm gonna create the most amazing piece ever. Do you want in on it? That was it. Didn't tell us how big the statue was gonna be, didn't tell us what the statue was gonna be of. He just promised it would be the most amazing ever. And if you want in, put down a couple hundred dollar deposit. Well, first of all, if you're into statue collecting, you're kind of stupid anyway. but the piece sold out, believe it or not. Well, then eventually after it sold out, we got to see the digital renders, and this is what the digital renders were, right here. It was Wolverine as a samurai, and it had tons of different display options we're gonna look at. Problem is, it only came in a kit, which is unpainted. So the piece was about $1,500, and I ended up shipping it to a painter in Europe. And a few different master painters out there have actually painted this piece, and they said it was one of the most intricate pieces they've ever done. So the painting price tag was another $1,500. And then when you add in all the shipping from China to Europe to the US, it was over $1,000 more. So I am $4,000 into this. Now generally, when I have a painter painting one of my kits, I give them some direction. They show me work in progress shots. I wanted none of that. I just told them I like black. That's all I said. And I haven't seen any of this. So you guys are gonna get my fresh reactions as I take him out of the box and assemble him. And then I'm still waiting on a small piece that he had to ship in a separate box that's stuck in customs. So we'll do a separate video for the review. But today we're gonna to look at some close-ups, we're gonna unbox it, see how that looks, and get my raw reactions. So let's get started. So this first layer here is actually the piece that he's sending in a separate box. It's a tree that goes on the base and he had to pre-assemble parts of it. So for that reason, he had to construct another box that it's going into. Here's the second layer, looks like more parts of the tree maybe. And we have a few pieces of Wolverine, we'll look at those in a second, we got some portraits. Looks like we got some armor. Looks like he listened to me when I said I love black. All right, so this last layer here should be the good stuff. Now I'm really curious how many pieces are in the other box. This unboxing may not go as I uh, hoped. Another Wolverine, a bald Wolverine. We got part of the tree right here. Let me show you the pieces I've unboxed so far. So here's the bald Wolverine. Here's another mass Wolverine here. The red samurai mask. Now this particular sculptor, not the painter, but the sculptor has sculpted tons of Wolverines and they all look very you can tell it's his style pretty easily. So I think that's it for this layer. Running out of layers here. Here's the pieces. Tons of pieces on this layer. So for the costume, it appears he did uh, blue and black with a little bit of red trim. This looks like an arm. You have the gauntlet right there. It's almost a uh, brown. Another one. Man, the intricate detail on this is crazy. 
So when we do the video review, we'll do uh, close-ups of the paint and sculpt, and we'll do some close-ups today as well. I'm hoping I can actually assemble him for you guys. I also need to do some research on uh, what we call all this crap. This is probably his loincloth right here. So it looks like blue, black, red, and gold. And the thing, as I said earlier, this guy has tons of display options. So there's actually multiple torsos, multiple heads. Man, look at the detail on this. That's why the paint job was so expensive. More coverings. Wow. All right, we got some boots. Wolverine wearing some sandals. The, uh, I can already tell you guys, the detail on this is insane. The sculpt detail and obviously the paint. And if you're new to my channel, my wife actually started painting statues lately. She painted my thing. So this one would be a little bit advanced for her, but I am guessing on this statue, this has to have 40 pieces to it. And that's without the tree. And I know one thing with the tree is uh, it had all of these uh, leaves with it, flower petals. So here we have a sheath. Undoubtedly, or actually this might be the hilt. The katana, little dragon head on top. Wow, the detail on that. More the sculpt than the paint. But I'm really curious about all these uh, coverings here. I'm also curious, it looks like there's one more layer. I, I don't think that uh, I'm going to be able to assemble this guy today. Wow, look at that. Here are his, uh, it's Wolverine, so his claws, real metal. Keep those together. What the hell is this? Oh, here's the sheath. Look at that with the dragon on it. That's unbelievable. Here is the blade, real metal. This is large, so this is technically a one four scale statue, but I th think uh, things are usually a little overscaled with this producer. Holster, sheath, and another sword. But I only saw one hilt, I believe. Thing. There's so many small pieces here. And make sure you don't miss anything. So the good news is there's actually another layer underneath this as well. So we probably will be able to assemble it today. Looks so like we got the hand that holds the uh, swords. And here is the hilt, multiple hilts. So it looks like we got one uh, that goes right into here. So I'm at 28 pieces already, and that doesn't include uh, assembling those swords. I counted those all as one piece. We got another portrait for you guys. More of a serious Wolverine. And we got a neck. Another portrait with a ponytail. kind of throwing the pieces everywhere. Looks like a belt to connect the legs and the torso, which we still have not seen those yet. Armor for his shoulder. Samurai hat, that's for the bald guy.
And we have legs. He's got some Aladdin style pants on here. We have the base of the tree. And we have the last layer. So these are ropes, little ropes that tie into him. He's all samurai carry around ropes. String up their enemies. I, don't, I actually don't know why. There are a ton of uh, tiny rope dreads. We're gonna leave those in the bag. Here's his other shoulder pad. I still think we're missing a foot. Hopefully we can find that. Ask and you shall receive. Here's the other foot. Here is torso. So as I said, there's multiple torsos. Here we have the base. This is awesome. This is crazy, man. This might be the most detailed painted base I've ever seen. It's funny, I'm pretty excited about all this, but the base has me the most excited. I left the coolest part in there. Look at the grass. That is crazy, crazy nuts. So we will be able to assemble it today for you guys. And lastly, we have the naked torso with a tattoo. Fuck me, this looks real. So first, look at the front. And then look at the back. So let me clean this up and we'll do the assembly.
And we have two more, which actually go on the other arm switch out. And then I also found out that the sheath swords can actually go right here, so probably and then also on the other side if, if that's not blocking it, so pretty neat. So not only are we going to do a detailed review, we'll look at the concept, we'll do close-ups of the paint and sculpt. But I also have a very similar piece. Check this piece out right here. I've done a review on just the kit itself of this Logan. It's actually in transit right now. I'm going to do an unboxing and review, and I also haven't seen any work in progress pictures of that. So in the comments below, go ahead and let me know, are you more excited about that soldier piece or this piece right here? The reason why I want you to leave a comment is it'll help enter you into that statue giveaway. To win one of these Mortal Kombat statues, all you have to do is comment on a video. At 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video and pick a random comment. That person will win the prize. They can choose between these two pieces. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you want to see the review on this piece, the detail up close, make sure to hit that Mr. X logo. That'll subscribe you to the channel. Hit that bell notification. You'll see that Logan and other extreme collectibles like this. Otherwise, check out some of these other custom statues in the playlist, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.